Grace, mercy, and peace. I am Dr. Elliot, both an Archbishop and Apostle in the Lord's Church, and I, I wanted to take this brief moment of time to touch a word um, that I may have touched before in the, in the recent past and so forth, but I want to touch it again to make sure uh, that those who are looking may have a little bit more depth when it comes to this terminology. And the word that I'm referring to is impart. What does the word impart mean as it is applied to biblical context? And some people may say impartation, uh, but one and the same. What does that mean? Well, first of all, let me uh, give a little foundation what we say it means from our Western world culture. When you look up in the dictionary, the word impart, we define it as to make information known or to communicate. So we only give imparting or impartation the simplicity of giving information from one to another but what's the depth of impart when it comes to the bible well we will find it referenced actually in two locations that i found in the new testament in romans chapter 1 verse 11 and we also find it referenced in first thessalonians chapter 2 verse 8 amen but let me uh, uh refer to romans 1 11. the bible says for i long to see you that i may impart to you some spiritual gift or as we um, may say in the Greek charisma, some divine gratuity or some divine grace. I may impart to you some divine influence to strengthen you that this is that we may be mutually encouraged by each other's faith or by each other's passion and conviction, both yours and mine. So now when we look at that word impart that's used here, it comes from the Greek word metadidomai. And meta didomai means to give over to, or in layman's term, to share or to convey or to grant. Now, here's something that even out of the Greek Strong's Concordance, when we talk about this word uh, meta didomai, that's not even touched, but I, I kind of bring it to your attention, is the first part of the word meta, which is where we get the term meditate which means to basically listen uh, for instruction or listen for something to be given for you to take action. So when you understand that, metadidomai means that something is being shared to you because you're in a place or you postured yourself to listen, to receive. You, you're in a position that things can be given to you or conveyed to you without you uh, uh, kind of uh, causing confusion or you being abrupt or you being in a place that you're not willing to listen. So in that, metadidomai means once again to share or to impart. So it's more than just a passing of information. It's also a passing of information that's being embraced uh, with care and concern or love or those characteristics that we can associate with the Lord God. Because I could give you information, but if I don't present it to you correctly, you're not going to want to receive it. You're going to want to receive information that you can see the love that I'm conveying, that I am sincere in what I'm giving to you. And this will cause you to say, I want to get what you have to give to me. So this is the thing about imparting or impartation, especially as we utilize it in the church. Usually uh, nowadays we would say when it comes to the characteristics of the spirit of the anointing of the Lord God that we have, we want to share what we have in order for other people to thrive and, and expand and to evolve into a greater place in the Lord God uh, with the goodness of what the Lord God has given to us to give to others. Amen. So in conjunction with that, I know some that may be listening say, well, is this reference in the Old Testament? Now, I will say we I have not crossed any scripture that we find the word directly in part in the Old Testament. And keep in mind, the Old Testament is primarily written out of Hebrew and in some places is written out of Aramaic. But in that out of the Hebrew dialect, I will say technically you can find in part used as a noun versus a, uh, a, a verb 
uh, as we find it in the New Testament. And I kind of give that grammar piece to it because in the Old Testament, the only place that we can find it alluded to is through two individuals' names, both Jonathan and Nathan, because Nathan or Nathan out of Hebrew uh, is basically the variation of the word impart because it means to transfer or to hand over or to bestow or to be a giver or to give possession of, which once again, we're, we're implying that in the New Testament when we're looking at the word impart or metadidomai, meaning to give or to grant or to share. So in that, we find that the name Nathan in the Old Testament, you can find uh, Nathan being referenced in 2 Samuel chapter 5, verse 14 and thereafter. And in the same turn, you can find uh, the name Jonathan referenced in the Bible in uh, Judges chapter 18, verse 30, because Jonathan is Yohanathan, which means who Yahuwah has given or who Yahuwah has shared or imparted to you. Uh, so thought you might find that very interesting about this one particular term impart or impartation that hopefully it may bless you as you look and, and utilize this terminology going forward as a believer when it comes to what you are wanting to share or the context of what you are speaking when you're uh, acknowledging, sharing, or wanting to give what the Lord has given you in order to bless someone else. So I pray that this has been very impactful and blessed you um, with this particular subject to hopefully help you grow and continue to expand in the greater things of the Lord God and your relationship with him. So with that being said, blessings to you, and I hope that you continue to pursue after the Lord.